Welcome to another Health News Video News Release brought to you by Health News. In today's news, we look at blood sugar levels and the life-saving health benefits for checking at one hour after eating versus after fasting. What was once considered a normal fasting blood sugar level, less than 100 mg per deciliter, does not rule out diabetes. A high rise in blood sugar after meals can damage every cell in your body and significantly increase risk for heart attacks, strokes, dementia, impotence, osteoporosis, blindness, deafness, and so forth. Doctors should order a blood sugar level one hour after eating a meal to save many of their patients' lives. You are at an increased risk of being diabetic if you also have a fasting blood sugar above 95 milligrams per deciliter, a large protruding belly, small hips and buttocks, high systolic blood pressure, high LDL cholesterol, high triglycerides, low HDL cholesterol, any heart, liver, or kidney problems, vitamin D levels below 20 nanograms per milliliter, a family history of diabetes and heart attacks, and sedentary habits with little or no exercise. If your blood sugar one hour after eating is above 155 milligrams per deciliter, lose excess weight. Follow a high plant diet that includes lots of organic vegetables, whole grains, beans, seeds, and nuts, and at least some fruit with meals every day. Restrict red meat, processed meat, fried food, sugar added foods, and all drinks with sugar in them, including fruit juices. And if you are not already exercising, check with your doctor and start a supervised exercise program. And remember, your best source for diet, nutrition, and supplement information is your metabolic typing advisor, functional diagnostic nutritionist, and functional medicine practitioner. Call them today. Also, if you're watching this video on Facebook, please love our page, comment, and share. If you're watching this video on our YouTube channel, please subscribe. And if you're watching this video on our website and have not already done so, please add your name and email address to the form on this page. And that's it for today's health news.